<clears throat> so it's uh, it's been over 18 months since I've done one of these uh, video blog about my coming out journey. Um, and there's kind of reason for it. Uh, I don't know how to put it lightly, but um, in, on November 4th of 2016, uh, my mom passed away. Uh, she developed uh, recurrent uterine cancer in 2012. Uh, initial bout was in 2008. And um, with the second bout uh, occurring, um, my whole family, myself included, kind of took it amongst ourselves to figure out what was the best treatment for her and to always stay on top of her health and make sure we're doing everything possible that we could to uh, help her get through the, the illness. Um, as you can tell, unfortunately, we were... Uh, you know, I, I would like to say we extended her, her life and, and gave her four more years when I think she was only told two in 2012. Um, but yeah, going through that, um, it getting pretty pretty scary in 2016 uh, in the second, second half. Um, I just couldn't find it in myself to actually start doing these video blogs while I had uh, priorities on my mind. Um, you know, it got to a point where for me, it was work, family, and cancer research, Body researching the body, understanding her medical history in terms of the medicine she's taken on a, consistency, on a con freak, consistent uh, timetable and what that could have done to her body and trying to reverse that and understanding what pathways might have created this cancer to grow and flourish and affect the immune system and on and on and on. So uh, with that being said, um, I apologize that I haven't been doing these video blogs for over 18 months now, because um, I've definitely had, I don't know, 5, 10, 15 requests since, kind of, where are you, where'd you go, where are your videos, you know, we miss you, you always have a good story, or we appreciate your, um, how genuine you are, and all this stuff, so, um, yeah, this, I'm, I don't really have much of a story on this one, I'm just kind of popping back in here to say hi, because I feel like I'm finally at a place emotionally where I'm strong enough to talk about my mom on video if I needed to or wanted to, you know, as I tear up a little. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, it was just a little bit of too many emotions going on um, to create any vlogs <sighs> after she passed within the first six, seven, eight months. So um, stay tuned. I'll try to jump back into things um, where I left off. I'm not going to put video or um, music attached to uh, these videos because I found out a few times that legally I'm not supposed to, so we're just going to stop doing that. But I will mention a song for each vlog that if you choose to, you can listen to it and try to understand like how um, that song uh, played a role in my life. So for this one, it is uh, Chain Smokers' um, Don't Let Me Down. And I picked that song because while my mom was sick, um, I played that song a lot on repeat over and over and over and over and over. Um, and it, at first it was for me to not let her down. Um, because I, like I said, I was researching her body, researching um, health in general, and just trying to understand what we could do to reverse the cancer and, and cure her. So I, I didn't want to let her down, obviously. And that song was motivation. Just go, go, go over and over and over. It kept me in the zone on on the right path. Um, and then it tore towards, I don't know, the last year and a half, uh, before she passed. Um, you know, I also kind of listened to it as a reminder that, you know, her, her and I are in this together or my family and I are in this with her, uh, you know, to not let each other down, whatever, whatever happens on the road, we're all here together. We're all in this together. So it was like, don't let each other down, do everything we can to, respect everybody's wishes and needs and desires and uh, keep everybody as happy as possible at all times. So I'm going to leave it at that and um, I'll see you at the next video blog.